Welcome back, 822. Right now, this morning, we're checking out one of the attractions on iDrive. It's a really fun one. There's so many great ones out there, but David Martin is at Ripley's, believe it or not. Oh, he's got a squirrel. He's got, I love the Darth <laughs> Vader helmet, too. I would eat that. Good morning. Hello, guys. I'm with Sabrina Seek here from Ripley's, who did all the research for the brand new book, The Annual, you call it, don't Unlock you? Unlock the Weird, yeah. Unlock the Weird. It's number 13 for you guys, and these are, these are big sellers. They are. They're great. We search the world, you know, year-round for the weird and the wonderful, and we put it all together every year. It's wonderful. Give us one of the samples, eh? All right. We have Mocha, the dog, who ate 28 different watch pieces, and we actually purchased them and acquired them. They're in our collection now. How did that dog eat this watch? I don't even know. I don't want to imagine. <laughs> but there you did. You required all the parts. Exactly. Any parts still work? I don't think so. No, they don't. <laughs> Look at that. It's been inside a dog there, Amy and Ryan. All right. Mauricio, otherwise known as Crummy Gummy. Good morning to you, my friend. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You are a gummy bear artist. You made a Darth Vader mask out of pure gummies. How long did it take you to do this? Uh, about two months. Uh, it was for a gallery show in Miami. Uh, the last two weeks was a complete blur. A bunch of, <laughs> a bunch of Red Bulls and... Uh, just trying to make it through the night. So it's about over a thousand gummy bears on there. What made you go, hmm, I can do this? Uh, that is a good question. I'm, I, I like working with gummy bears. I'm a big Star Wars nerd. Yeah. Um, a quarter of the way in, I thought I was crazy for even trying to do this. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, I think it's something I wanted to see happen. I wanted <laughs> to see what that would look like. And uh, thankfully, I'm kind of happy with the results of it. And Sabrina found you. She did, the one and only. Much uh, thanks to her. Are you in the book? Yes. yes. That's cool. Very cool. <laughs> something else that's in the book here is our friend our local friends, but worldwide global sensations and celebrities. Twiggy, the water skiing squirrel, Chuck Best Jr. operating the boat. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? Good. Twiggy has been in a ton of movies. Can you list some of them for us? Uh, Dodgeball, Anchorman, um, Mega Minds. Uh, <laughs> there's actually the newest one was Jim and the Holograms that just came out last year. Oh, very cool. Now, we got the GoPro attached to his water skis, and he's doing a little, a she, it's a she, isn't it? She's doing a little performing for us. How did you determine that squirrels can be trained like this? Um, well, it was all a joke. Uh, back in 1979, we used to own a skating rink back in uh, in Sanford, Florida, called Melody. And my dad had the squirrel, Twiggy, the first one, given to him. And he bought a remote control boat from my oldest sister, Lelania Best, now Miller. And uh, he was out playing with it, and a friend of his came up to him and said, oh, we lost Twiggy. Uh, but um, what does she do now? She will... Well, well, we'll actually do a wet start here. Give us a second. We'll go ahead and reset this. Yeah, but. Um, but yeah, um, my dad was, was out playing with the boat. A friend of his came up to us and says, Chuck, you didn't, didn't buy that boat for your daughter. You bought it for yourself. And my dad just simply quit back. No, you're going to have to drive the boat so can teach the squirrel how to water ski. <laughs> and your first reaction when you all saw it? Um, yeah, I, I, was, I wasn't even born yet. Oh, you were? No, I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. We're back up and running. He's back on. Uh, no, it was it was one of those things. I put it in the local newspaper. The same. Um, the UPI circuit out. Lando. All right, David. I don't know if you can hear us, but we're having problems hearing you. But okay. Just watch Twiggy. Yeah, we'll just watch Twiggy. Just Hopefully, get back up on the. Uh, get back up on. There we go. Good job, Twiggy. Uh -oh. Yeah, so I don't know why they're not going He's right back. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if we, we were just talking about walking close to that remote control. Could do it. Right, like yeah. That. Look at Twiggy. Look at GoPro on there. I like so good. Yeah, there, 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 there we go. We can yep. hear you a little there bit, David, go. if you can hear us. I wonder how they know when Twiggy's done. <laughs> oh, we're back. Are we back on? on? You know, Paul or something's done? <laughs> can you <laughs> hear me? I can't tell if they can hear me. Hey, David, we can hear you. We think that your mic is... Is oh, they can't hear. The, uh, okay, I can't tell. Boat from the boat, yeah. <laughs> anyway, this all right, is super let's cute. just wrap it up here because we'll, we'll. All right. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Very good. So now, where cute. can we buy one of these books, Sabrina? Oh, major book all major books. Our sellers. auditoriums online, Amazon, uh, everywhere. And the hours of operation for your auditorium? We are open late. <laughs> okay, wait. You don't know. It's a, we'll just say midnight. All right, very good. We're back with much more in the next hour. Good day, Orlando. And a working microphone, hopefully. <laughs> David, thanks. Can you guys fix that? <laughs> Probably. If Twiggy, sure. can, if Twiggy